Right now, I'm really nervous because it's five minutes before we go into show our pilot. We want to show them that we did learn and that we were able to take what we learned and like make something amazing. How is everybody feeling? Nauseous. I'm sweating. Oh, from your eyes. I'm nervous, but I know I can drag you all down with me. I'm scared. Hi guys. Hi. Uh, Hi. Hey guys. So this summer, the interns have had their ups and downs, right? <laughs> it's gonna be really exciting to see how much they've grown. So we're about to watch the pilot with like a bunch of the awesomeness staff, and I'm like really hoping that it's good. It's been a long time since yeah. I've seen them and seen what they've done, and I know. They've probably come a long way since then. We just wanted to thank you all for coming, taking the time out to come to our screening. Of course. So we just um, finished our pilot. We had three weeks to make it, and this is the final product that we came up with. Can you remind us what the premise was? Yes, so it's called When I Grow Up, and it's a show based on the concept of a YouTuber getting to live out their dream childhood job for a day. I'm really excited to see. Let's see it. Welcome to When I Grow Up, the show where we take your favorite YouTubers and put them in their childhood dream job. Today, we are surprising beauty and lifestyle vlogger Megan Hughes. Let's go surprise her. What was your childhood dream job? It was to be in the ASPCA slash be a vet. Today, we're going to take you to LA Love and Leashes in Santa Monica. What they do is they assist like city shelters and they make the animals more adoptable. It's easier to come here and get them. So First, we're going to get the dogs off the truck. Okay. Um, we're going to put them in here. Um, we're going to get them situated. Uh, we're going to feed them and then we're going to go for some walks. Beautiful. Um, they're really excited because they just got off um, or away from the shelter. I have a special guest with me, Mia Stella. <laughs> if I wanted to adopt this one, what would the process be? Talk about the paperwork where he came from. I'm gonna have oh, you dress God. in the puppy oh costume and get a couple honks for puppy love. You're and literally on <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Megan. <laughs> I love it. Why didn't you guys call me to do my <laughs> job? I want to say, what was your name again, sorry? Ariana. Ariana, you did a great job hosting it. Kudos to you Thank for you. being able to do that. I thought you were a pretty spectacular host. Like, the dog angle was great. Everyone in it, super likable. Who was, who was the director on that shoot? You? So, so I made a note, oh my gosh, there's puppies coming out of a truck, oh my gosh. It was a great moment that was missed. Drew. You also should have been thinking, oh wait, this isn't a great shot. Let me come around and like let yeah. me move around my talent and find that angle. Exactly. One of the things that we questioned when we chose you is would you be able to be a leader? Because in the beginning, you don't have the most confidence in your idea and all of that. It was definitely a challenge. I've never directed anything. I have no production experience. I was definitely frazzled at the beginning of the shoot. Uh, as long as you just keep making progress, that's all anybody can do and that means you're doing a great job. And people will challenge you and disagree with you. You just have to have confidence in yourself. What you have here is a great foundation for a really solid show. We just need to dig a little bit deeper. But overall, I would say you guys you guys smashed it. I love the show. I love the idea. I wasn't in it. But <laughs> we can figure that out later. It's amazing to see how much you guys have improved. And you did a fantastic job. I want to be a part of this as well next time. Guys, that went Woo! actually extremely well compared to my expectations. Yeah. yeah. I was confident the entire time. I feel like really happy though. Like I finally got to host, which is like what I want to do. It's like my thing. I think we picked and allocated jobs based on our strengths and talents, and it's so think it paid off. Super relieved that it's over. Yeah, I need that. to sleep. I'm really glad that they were very impressed. Yeah. You know, they were saying that not a lot of, like interns just don't get this opportunity. At first, I was freaked out that not everyone was like pulling their weight, but then towards the end, like everyone did so much work. I would have killed to have two to three more hours to work on it, because I think like making sure all the video was all perfect and color correct and everything. Um, having a little bit of extra time, I think, would have made a big difference in the quality of the video. So I filmed with the interns a few weeks ago when they were really new and didn't have really any experience, and it definitely was a bit of a train wreck. But today, I got to see how far they've come. You know, there were a few things that they could have improved on, but overall, like, really great quality. Hey! <laughs> I feel like a tight. We had the dog costume from last week, and I was just like, you know what? It's 
the work. It's comfortable. I've seriously seen like a ton of not only like hard work, but like progress. I wanted to know if you were interested in joining the team as a writer. Yay, That's thank awesome. you. Possibly even some hosting as well. Oh, can I give you a hug? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Yay. I just got a job. Yeah. Right now I just got a job at Awesomeness. This is really cool. Hey, Mo, I'm calling you from Awesomeness. From where? Awesomeness. My internship, Mom. You know I can't hear that well sometimes. I just got a job. Hallelujah. Oh my God. I just got a job. I'm feeling excited. I'm just, I'm just overwhelmed. I'm gonna take this off now because I'm hot and sweating because I'm too excited. Guys, I just got a job. Oh my God. Here. I'm gonna cry. It's like so perfect for you. Beautiful woman. Uh, so our last night is interns. This yes. is not, this is not summer though. interns. We had to write letters to each other about our experiences. Who wants to go first? It's not gonna be me. Emma. Read it. Anger Beaver. I don't Speech. remember everything Speech. it says, Speech. so. Speech. 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 Thank you to everyone who made this summer so amazing. The saddest part is leaving my four sexy co-interns. I'm definitely sad that the internship's ending, but I'm also staying in LA, so I'm not that sad. Ari, I am so glad you're staying out here in LA with me because we are probably going to take over the town and go broke together while having a kick-ass time. <laughs> Honestly, when I first started this internship, I expected to hate all of you guys. Like, I thought we'd just like fight. You know, sure, we sometimes disagree, Hannah. Uh, I really didn't get you on day one, but I realized that you're the right amount of crazy to keep me sane. Oh, and like, I don't know, it's like a whole bunch of fun. Big Drew, I guess, right off the bat, I was like, Oh boy, and then it was also true. I was like, I'm gonna eat this kid. Um, and then you did. <laughs> <laughs> For a bit, like, let's be real. Um, but, like, what I learned from you is okay. like to kind of let go of my ego. And after I did that, I realized we can make a really great team. Drew, although we butt heads a lot this summer, if I had to shoot something tomorrow, I would choose you to be my partner. Oh, no, but, but seriously, listen, I think it would be a good team if we were like something together. So. About this internship, I uh, don't think I was in the best graces with the other interns, and I think I came off cocky, like I've been told, and I think that led to a lot of fights. I don't hate you guys, okay? Aww. So Seriously, we've had our ups and downs this summer, but I wouldn't want to have experienced it all with any other group. I met a ton of people, and I made some really great friends that I don't think I anticipated making. <laughs> Learning about the different types of producers and directing, and all these different jobs has really opened my eyes and made me realize that I don't have to be like a one-trick pony. I can do more than just write. Um, so that's been good. I remember the first day, walking into this internship with butterflies, all nervous, thinking, are they gonna like me? Am I gonna be going on coffee runs all day? I was a nervous wreck. I know our internship here at Awesomeness is coming to an end, but our real adventures have just begun. I love you guys. And I put a heart emoji. I can still like wake up with a smile on my face every day because I know I'm like coming here, I'm coming to do work. It's like I'm coming to follow my dreams. Like I'm actually following my dreams right now. Like surreal. My final thoughts are follow me on Instagram and add me on Snapchat. <laughs> I don't think there's much left to the imagination. Like everything that I am, they've seen and more. I love you. Thanks, Awesomeness, for the best summer ever. So guys, I heard we get to watch some bloopers. <laughs> oh my! Look at those cantaloupes.